Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamon here and welcome back to some more Mario Kart 8 Online Races. I enjoyed the last few Mayo races so much that I wanted to do some more and uh, just record some more as well. So here we go, we're gonna jump right back onto some online. We're gonna go back into global and who are we gonna race as this time? Hmm. Also, I should probably be doing battle mode as well because, you know, that's kind of the whole thing about the deluxe version. But I personally like racing more, so that's what I do, I guess. Well, let's use the Koopa Troopa. I kind of wish there were more colors of the Koopa Troopa because, I mean, and obviously in like Super Mario World and stuff, you have like the yellow version, you have like a, a blue version, you have a red version, of course. And it would be nice to have some more Koopa colors, but eh, it's fine. I guess for now um what do i want to choose with you well there's for the lightweights i only generally use one certain setup um though i could try something different i guess um, you know what i kind of like this all green green is my favorite color by the way so yeah that yeah that's fine i guess could go uh, really just go all green and use the animal crossing one or i could just go with the standard glider actually let's do that yep let's do it i'm currently spectating though so um yeah i actually do want to talk a bit about stuff actually um these kind of videos like the online videos i'm gonna probably also do this for splatoon but um with mario kart 8 and splatoon i'm more so kind of want to talk about some things you know i want to uh you know talk about certain topics and you know just have a little bit more of a conversation than just you know talking about the game when I'm doing my let's plays obviously I'm gonna still talk about the game here and there um, because you know this is still live uh, commentary um, but anyways let's see okay you're not letting me change character anymore well I didn't really want to anyways I don't like all of these let's go random I mean I don't mind these but they are not my favorites Actually, I I guess Tone Surbike is okay. I don't really like the other two. I always get hit by the train. It's, it's, it's stupid. I always get hit by the train in Super Bowl Subway. And the side bike, I don't know. I just... I don't really like it considering it's just circles and you do a couple jumps. I know it's a whole like, side bike thing and whatnot, but eh. It's not really my, my cup of tea, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, let's see what we can do with Koopa Troopa on the Excite Bike Arena. And the main thing I wanted to talk about in this game is uh, 2017. Obviously, you know, it's uh, 2018 now. Um, Happy New Year, by the way. And I know this is probably going to be uploaded like a week after her, um, January, uh, the beginning of January. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, my favorite games in 2017 and um, what I'm hoping for in 2018. Or I might actually save that for another video or I might save that for the, uh, the second part of this video because as you guys know, I will be doing four races with one character and then um, I'll be switching uh, to another character for the last four races as well. So that'll be cool, but... Um, Yes, um, my favorite games 2017. I, on top of my head, I mean, the top three. Um, it's probably on third. It's probably only Switch games, and I probably would put Splatoon 3 or Splatoon 3. I wish. No, actually, I don't. I mean, Splatoon 2 just came out, but uh, Splatoon 2 is probably on number three. Um, you know, I I didn't really like the original Splatoon. I mean. I liked it, I liked the gameplay of it, but there was a lot of things wrong with that game, and they had a lot of problems, in, a lot of my, in my opinion, but Splatoon 2 fixed a lot of those problems, and it just made me absolutely love the game, um, as well as Salmon Run, Salmon Run is great, I know I haven't really uploaded much Salmon Run, um, I'm trying to get together with some friends and upload some of that, um, so maybe I can do that at some point, but Splatoon 2 was definitely a great game. Uh, or is and still is um, it's still getting updated and whatnot it's just absolutely amazing and yeah um, generally I was just you know picking other shooters to play but now it's just been Splatoon 2 and 
I don't know what it is to be honest, but um, we got first. Hey, it seems like whenever I talk about a certain topic, I happen to get first a lot more. I guess my complaining about the Excite Bright Arena was for nothing. <laughs> okay, what are we getting? Hmm, show me. Oh, this is, is easy. Easy. Mute City, please. And thank you. Um, but yes, like I was saying, Splatoon 2, great game. Um, if you have a Switch and you don't have that many games yet and you're thinking you're looking for a great game, Splatoon 2 is definitely a good option. If you like shooters, even if you don't like shooters, I mean, Splatoon 2 can still really be fun. I really enjoyed their single player just by itself. And it's focused mostly on multiplayer, which is just great. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, for the number two spot, I would probably pick Super Mario Odyssey. And um, I'm saying that with, I don't know, a bit of hesitation because the one and two spots are like really close to each other for me um, I both really love them uh, uh, equally to be honest and they're amazing in their own ways I, I just think that the other game because I've played it more I think I enjoy it more right now um, but Super Mario Odyssey is definitely a great game I mean it's been so long since we had last um, a sandbox game um, like that, a Mario Sandbox game like it, and it has so many moons in it as well, like it's so it's so innovative, but it's like so familiar as well you know, it's it's great and the movement is so nice and just everything about it I love, it's just, there's like nothing I like, oh man I really have to do this, I mean there's some parts where you have to, for example in one of the kingdoms, I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but you have to like herd a bunch of sheep I guess that's a little annoying, but <laughs> other than that, it's it's fantastic. Like I loved playing that game. I mean, if, if someone were to say, like, you have to play this game for like 48 hours, I would say, okay, fine. You know, I would do it. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be able to put it down. I would just, you know, get every moon and then start another playthrough and get every moon again. <laughs> but it's just a very, very fun game and. Um, I definitely haven't played as much as I would have liked, and honestly, the main ish, uh, the main reason for that is because I am recording it. Since I have to record it, um, I can't play it at all times, um, and it's it's whatever though because I'll save more of the game, I guess, over time. But yeah, it's it's definitely a great game. Um, just love absolutely everything about it. Um, and then obviously number one, I don't think this will come as a surprise to anyone. I mean, it's it's been labeled as game of the year of 2017. It's definitely Breath of the Wild. I mean, the game is just crazy, crazy. And it's funny because the last few years I didn't even play Zelda all that much. Like, I got Twilight Princess HD not on release. Like, I I, I got it a, a little bit later, and you know I liked it. It was great. It was a lo lovely Zelda game. And then Breath of the Wild came, and it. And I was like, okay, what was the point of playing Twilight Princess when this was about to come out? Like, this is just so much better and it just, it's fantastic. It's amazing. Bad of the Wild is definitely my favorite game of 2017. No doubt. And definitely my favorite Zelda game as well. It used to be Ocarina of Time. Um, I think that was mostly nostalgia though. But even Nostalgia can't beat Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is it's great. The only problems I have with Breath of the Wild is that I wish it had more actual dungeons. I mean, there are shrines, I guess. But there are no, like... You know, yeah, there's only, like, four dungeons. Like, four main dungeons. And I think the DLC adds one more. But I'm not completely sure. Um, because I, I still have yet to finish all of the DLC. I have played a bit of it, but I still need to finish it. Um, and I still actually need to do everything in the game. Like, I still haven't gotten every shine in the game. In even the base, you know, game as well. And I played a bit of Master Mode. That was also fun. Um, though I have not finished that either. <laughs> There's a lot of things I still need to do in the game. Damn. <laughs> but it's just a great game. 
And I, once again, I can say the same thing what I uh, said about Odyssey for Breath of the Wild. I love everything about it. It's it's just a fantastic game. Love the graphic style. Love the uh, combat. I. I actually really like the story as well. I mean, some people might say, "Oh well, I mean, this is just a generic Zelda story and whatnot." But it, I don't know. I really liked it, and with all the cutscenes and like actual like voices, um, it, I don't know. It was just great. It was just great experience. I actually remember seeing the Nintendo Switch trailer for that game, and that actually made me like super hyped for it and I was like oh my gosh this game it looks so good and it, yeah it it deserved every little hype that it got at first it that it's incredible absolutely fantastic but I think I have like 100 hours of playtime on that game um, definitely the most out of any Zelda game I've played, but that's definitely a lot of playtime for me for a Zelda game. Um, Zelda is definitely one of my favorite franchises, but I never really played them a lot. Like, it's weird. It's like you know a game is good, but you don't really play that game yourself that much. It's... It's weird. I don't know. It's, it's probably a really weird thing, like... For example... I know that um, this is this is complete. It's actually kind of completely off topic. I mean, this game even released in 2016, um, but Titanfall 2. It's a shooter, if you don't know, with Max and whatnot. I actually played it, and I absolutely love it. I think it's a great game, but I don't really play it much, which is weird. You know, I mean, I think it's really underrated, and I keep. Telling people to buy it, but I don't really play myself. I play it myself all that much. Uh, I think it's mostly because I don't really have anyone to play it with, though. I think if I had actually people to play it with, then I think it would have been different. But uh, yeah, that's that. I mean, other great games were. Um, what else have I played? Monster Hunter Stories. A, a funny f fact, actually, um, is that I have never actually, or I, I haven't finished that game yet. Um, and I've probably finished Generation Monster Hunter Generations like four times by now. <laughs> uh, I think I like the the um, just the, the gameplay of Monster Hunter Generations or the uh, the main Monster Hunter games more than a spin-off, which. Really isn't all that surprising, um, but that's another game that I know is like really good, and I absolutely love it. But I I just haven't finished it yet, which is weird. But yeah, that's another great game though. Definitely, definitely really fun. If you like Pokemon, you're probably gonna like that game as well, Monster Hunter Stories, because it kind of plays it saying just you know a little bit different. I mean, obviously it can't be a complete copy. I mean, it has its own like creative stuff it's very it, but I mean I guess the main similarities is that you um, hatch monsters instead of capturing Pokemon um, and you use them in battle but ev everything else really is different so it's really not all that the same but um, yes I think this is the last race with uh, with with Koopa, I believe, because first we had Excite Bag Arena, then we had Mute City, then we had the match we were on just now, which was I don't even remember. Why can't I remember that? Was that Mute City? Have we only had two races so far? I actually genuinely can't remember. Genuinely, I can't say that word. I feel like we've already had three races. I kind of stopped counting because I've been just talking about stuff right here, but I'll change character after this race. Um, but yeah, also some honorable mentions are, um, well, I guess it's not really technically a new game, but um, I did kind of technically got it new. I bought Shovel Knight on the Wii U a long while back 
And then I actually bought it again. Wow, look at that guy's VR. 18,000? Are you kidding me? What the heck? Anyways, getting sidetracked. Um, I bought Shovel Knight on the Wii U like a really long while back and I really enjoyed that. And I don't know why, honestly, but I really wanted to get Shovel Knight on Switch as well. Um, I mean, I could play it on the go, I guess, which is nice. Um, and I guess it looks a little bit better, you know, considering it on the Switch, which is a little bit better graphical. And I guess maybe loading times might be faster. I, I don't I don't actually know that well though. What? That went past him? Are you kidding me? Well, he got hit by something else though. So it's all good. Why didn't I go for the big box? I was expecting that guy to get it. Wait, why did he get hit by the red shell? Why did I even get hit by it? Anyways, but yeah, Spectre of Torment, it was really nice. I think that Spectre of Torment is my favorite uh, out of the three, out of Shovel Knight, uh, Plague Knight, and Spectre of Torment. I really like Plague Knight all that much. I gotta finish that at some point, though. Uh, but I actually haven't finished Spectre of Torment yet, either. I am, like, right at the end of the tower. Um, I guess it's kind of weird for me to say that I like it more than the original, then. But, eh, I just like the movement better, and I like Spectre Knight better. Sorry, Shovel Knight. I, it's... I, I just do. Um, but there's probably tons of other games I'm forgetting here, but... There were, like, so many good games. Another game that I liked is... I'm, I mainly like this game because I also like Monster Hunter, um, which is Token 2. Um, I kind of really like that. It was kind of It's kind of like Monster Hunter, but the offline was actually open world. They should have made the online also open world, but... Eh. That's also that's one of the reasons why it's like probably like lower on my list of you know best games, and of course how can I forget Ultra Sun and Moon? That game was also pretty nifty. I think it's just a better version of Sun and Moon, and Sun and Moon was already pretty freaking great. And I'm sixth place right now. Come on, Star, help me out here. Nope, I'm gonna get sixth place. Well. At least I gained points. I get yes, that's a good thing. There's a lot of German people in here. All right, let's change character here. Do I want to keep the lightweight trend going? I can go with Toad. I don't think I've ever raced with Toad before. I'm sorry, Toad. <laughs> I'll do it. You were kind of cute in Odyssey, I guess. So sure. I want to put you in a ship or the cheap charger. The cheap charger just fits you the most, but I'm not using that. I'm sorry. I'll just use the B-Dasher. It kind of fits your colors. I think. And we'll use the plane, I think. Plane glider. Let's go. Um, let's go with uh, Moon Meadows. Wow, a lot of people picking Moon Meadows. Damn. Normally, people pick a lot of Dolphin Shoals, which... Unpopular opinion, I don't like Dolphin Shoals. I'm sorry, I don't. 200 CC, okay. This completely throws my theory that I had in the last video completely out of the water where I said that you can't get 200 CC in normal online races, but you definitely can. This is gonna be interesting. 200 CC, you say, hmm. Well, it's, it's on Moomoo Meadow, so it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, look at how fast we're going. Oh, no. Please. Okay, it's fine. It's, it's great. It's, it's, it's okay. Oh my gosh, the lightweight life, guys. The lightweight life. There's so many people around me. Uh, if you don't know what the, that is from, lightweight life, go look up my old Mario Kart 8 videos. Uh, the lightweight life is not fun, even though I'm in first place right now. Damn it! I wanted to try and hop on the grass, but that didn't work out. Oh, yep, and I'm just getting hit by 15,000 items. I'm not expecting to get first here, guys. I consider myself pretty decent at regular Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but 200 CC, I'm pretty ass at. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I'm not really good at 200 CC. But anyways, back to the topic. Um, 
Actually, let's kind of slightly change topic. I guess I'll talk about the games I'm looking mostly forward to in 2018. As far as we know of, at least. Why is that guy standing still right there? He's kind of making me get hit. Actually, it's kind of a lie. That was kind of just me running into him. I should have just turned that a little bit uh, tighter. But anyways, third place, not that bad. Um, like I was saying, games are looking forward to... Um, uh, games I'm looking mostly forward to in 2018. Well, there's one that is like right around the corner. And when I say right around the corner, it's I think 23, 23 days. Yes, 23 days because it comes out on the 26th. And it's not Dragon Ball Fighter Z. No, it's Monster Hunter World. Obviously, because I mean I have over a thousand hours on both. A communication has occurred. Ah, oh, it's great. Anyways, as I was saying. I have a thousand hours on both Monster Hunter Generations and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Not combined, but separate. I have 1000 on 4 Ultimate and 1000 on Generations. I don't know if I've ever said that in any of my videos, but yes. That, it's the thing. And... Don't think I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, I just enjoyed that game a lot, so I got a lot of hours on it. That's all I'll keep it at, but... Um, definitely looking forward to Monster Hunter World. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing it as much as uh, uh, Generations in 4 Ultimate because I have like so many other games that I enjoy right now. Uh, that's why I mentioned it's fine. Um, so many other games like I Am Odyssey I still need to finish, uh, Breath of the Wild I still need to finish, there's still I want to play more Splatoon, I want to play more this game, that game. I don't think I will be playing Monster Hunter World, World as much as I did with the other Monster Hunters. Well, that's the game I'm really, really looking forward to. It's going to be great. And we got 150cc mirror again. We're getting all the craziest thing, crazy things, man. I guess it's better than 100cc. But yeah. Um, other games? I, we don't really know of, of ma that many games, do we? At least not that I can't remember. I mean, obviously Nintendo announced a new Pokemon. But... That's not confirmed for 2018. They only said it won't be released for another year. Um, for at least another year. So it could be like two years as well. It could be five years. It could be 20 years. I don't think, no. That's not gonna happen. It's a little bit over exaggerated, but you, 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 you get what I'm saying. So I'm not really expecting anything of that just yet. It's ex exciting that we're getting a Pokemon game on the Switch, of course. Um, I love, uh, I'm gonna love it probably, but um, yeah, it is definitely probably not go. Well, I don't want to say definitely, but it's probably not coming out in 2018. Um, I guess we do know of the Kirby game that we saw for Switch. I'm definitely getting that. I still need to finish Planet Promo Bot before that, though. Uh, at least finish the main game. I don't know if I'm gonna get the all collectibles. And if I am, I'm probably going to look up where to get all the collectibles or how to get them. Because I remember when I was playing through it, there was one part where I just didn't know how to get a certain collectible and just kind of gave up and never played it again. That is something I do, which is kind of bad. It's kind of a bad habit of mine. But yes, I, I, I generally just get demotivated if I can't do something. But uh, yes, that's that was also that Yoshi game, which probably one of the games I'm I don't know least hyped about. But I might probably still get it. I still need to finish Yarn Yoshi as well. Or it's not Yoshi. Yarn Yoshi is Yoshi pretty well. Yarn Yoshi was like the the um oh now you give me a super horn right as after the blue horn or the blue horn the, the blue shell hits me you give me a super horn. Whatever. Let me just get this double box. But yeah, I I still need to finish Yoshi Willy World. Yoshi Yor Yoshi was the uh, title before. Um, it w it was like a working title. They call it Yoshi Yoshi, as it was kind of inspired by Kirby's Epic Yarn. Which, by the way, I think Kirby's Epic Yarn is a great game. Um, another game I still need to finish though. <laughs> I just have too many games I still need to finish. I'm sorry. 
Uh, you guys are probably face bombing so hard right now. I'm gonna vote for DK Jungle. DS Wire Stadium is nice, but I, I think DK Jungle is like one of my favorite courses. Period. Even though they really didn't change much in this version, I guess there is one anti gravity part. I think, at like the temple part. But other than that, they really nothing changed. Um. But, yes. Anyways, um, other games. I mean, obviously, there's Metroid Prime 4, which actually gets me to um, the other Metroid game on 3DS. I forgot to talk about that earlier. Uh, but that game, it's great. It's great, but another game that I need to finish. And just did, haven't gotten around to it and haven't gotten the motivation to, I guess, uh, to do so. Um, which is kind of sad. So that's a problem. <laughs> uh, I really am having a problem with that, aren't I? There's too many other games, man. Me other great games. Life is hard. <laughs> uh, here I am playing this game when I could be finishing those games. Anyways, but yeah, Metroid Prime 4. I, I never played the uh, Metroid Prime trilogy, which I actually do own. But once again, never finished. Never played actually. Still need to play that. I might actually do a let's play of that. Might. It's not a promise, guys. But. Who knows, maybe I'll do that before Prime 4 comes out. And we don't even know when Prime 4 comes out. They said they just said it's in development for Switch, so it could take another two years. All this time they're waiting for a new uh, Metroid game on console and they have to wait another five years after like ten years of waiting. <laughs> I feel sorry for these guys. I, I don't know if it's actually ten years, by the way. I just know it's a lot. Is this 100cc? This feels really slow. Maybe it's because I played one, uh, 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 200 CC too much. Well, I said too much. I've only played once, but maybe because of that, it feels like this is going really slow. Anyway, I want to save two mushrooms here so I can take this shortcut and actually I have two more mushrooms. I'll take this. There we go. Nice first place. Thank you. Whoa! So slippery. Damn. Yeah, the grip is not really that great on this cars, so... Oh, thank you for braking. You probably would have hit me if you didn't brake me. If you didn't brake there. Brake me? No, please don't brake me. Um, but yes, I don't think there's any other games we know of in 2018, to be honest. That's at least on the Nintendo side. I can't remember there being anything. Um, not that I'm super hyped about. I mean, I could be forgetting something, and I'm sorry if I do. But I just can't think of it. That guy has mushrooms. He's gonna pass me for it. There's two that uh, had mushrooms. Damn. Right? Maybe if I get mushrooms here, I can save them. Oh, I got one mushroom. Actually, no, I want to use that here. Wow! I suck. <laughs> That's the biggest fail in this whole session. Holy moly. Ah, oh, man, stupid bullet bill. Is that a bullet bill or a benzite bill? I mean, it's pretty big, but... Like, it's it's weird, because that bullet bill is, like, a lot bigger. That bullet bill is a lot bigger than it in, uh... In like Mario Odyssey or any Mario game for that matter. Sorry for that cap by the way. That had a little bit of an issue there, but uh, yeah. Guess we're ending with fourth. I think that was. I wasn't really paying attention, but um, yeah. Anyways, I think that'll do it for now for this episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think we got eight races in that. I might have miscounted. I'm sorry if I did. But, um, anyways, that was that video. Hope you guys enjoyed me rambling about um, games in 2017 and 2018. There were probably ones I forgot about, but those are the ones that are most memorable. So, uh, it's generally what I think about. I mean, there were other things. There were things like Destiny, which I play. Um, there were, uh, what else? I can't See, I can't even think of it. 
there's a lot of games I got. Sonic Mania, that's also a great game. Um, I, yeah, I, that, that, that's all I got. I, I can't remember of anything else. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, 2018 is going to be a great year for gaming, I think. I mean, we already know of two Nintendo games for sure, which is Kirby and Yoshi. Um, and the rest is really surprises. I'm also expecting DLC for Odyssey, which will be great. Um, maybe they won't do the DLC for it at all, which would be sad. Also really hoping for a Smash Brothers announcement, but... Yeah, crossing my fingers, that's all I can do. Um, speaking of which, though, maybe I should do some more Smash uploads. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But anyways, that'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.